What's up, everybody? Hopefully, okay, I gotta calm down. I think I had enough sugar for today, so let's just calm down. Um, I got a confession to make. Can I have a drum roll? I want to make a full walkthrough video um, covering as much stuff as I can from start to finish. I think it would be a lot of good and it would help out uh, quite a bit out there um, for anybody that's had questions uh, that have been writing in the comments. You know who you are. Um, I'm a visual learner and I know a lot of you guys are too, so that's why uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, it's going to be pretty fun. Hopefully you guys are going to have just as much fun. But before we start, I want to talk about my paints and my airbrushes and a couple other little things that I'm going to be using um, along the way. Just to kind of get them out the way uh, before we start. So we'll get right on into it. Alrighty, uh, the first airbrush that I'm going to be using is Mrs. Bernadine. I love you. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's a bottle fed. Um, you just plug it in, boink, and it allows you to spray out a lot of paint. Um, I like using this right off the get-go. Uh, just kind of, uh, kind of gets a lot of, <laughs> a lot of paint sprayed out. Um, man, I don't know about you guys watching my videos. My goodness, help you guys! Uh, it's going to be rough. You're going to have to stick with me. I hope you guys do. <laughs> but uh, let me explain a little bit about this. Uh, the reason this thing is up here, it's like a little toupee. Um, this is actually, uh, what is it? It's like a Velcro piece, but it's got like adhesive um, under it. So I just kind of cut me out a little shape, a little circle shape, kind of planted it on there. Um, the reason why I don't have uh, the cap on the back of this is because I got it loosened all the way up and you can't put the cap on. So when you pull back, you don't have a lot of resistance on it. Um, yeah, so it's just a lot, it's just a lot easier. Um, and then moving down, if you can see this, uh, focus, please focus for the love of goodness sakes. Okay. Uh, there's little two holes in there. If you just get yourself um, some tweezers and then you just crash them in there. No, I'm just kidding. You don't want to crash it. Sorry, Bernadine. Um, if you just go ahead and you just kind of put them in there and then if you turn them uh, clockwise, you'll tighten it. You turn it counterclockwise, you'll loosen it. And that is the spring tension for you pushing down. It just makes it a lot easier for me um, so I can paint a long period of time. Make sense? Cool! Um, this is the part that I'm talking about. I'll give you guys a close-up. Um, this is with it threaded all the way in. Um, gives you a lot of tension. Um, but if you just loosen all the way as far as you can. And pretty much there is no more threads exposed, so you can't put the cap back on. So that is the reason why I always uh, have mine off, um, just to make it a lot easier right here. Uh, airbrush number two, this is going to be, uh, I'm going to use this for all my detailed work. Um, I call her Kara. Because I care about her a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh... As you guys see, I have the same thing on top, the wig or the toupee. Um, back here where the thorax is, right there, I like to run that really, really loose. Um, same scenario about the pulling back, makes it really, really easy. Uh, the buttocks here, the gluteus maximus, I think it's what you call it. Um, if you just grab yourself a, a flathead, little bitty flathead, and then same thing with the other one. Uh, if you turn it clockwise, you stiffen the spring. You turn it counterclockwise, you loosen it. And it's the same thing with the pushing down. Make sense? I knew you guys would understand. All right. Uh, this one is a little bit different. Um, it's actually built in to uh, this little uh, back piece. So pretty much you just do the same thing. 
Um, turn clockwise to stiffen the spring, and then turn counterclockwise to loosen the spring. All right, let's talk about paint. Um, I reduced my paint down a lot. Um, the reason why? <gasps> Somebody asked why? Because it flows better. Yes, it flows better. Um, plus, it allows me to build uh, really, really slow. Um, so there's a lot of give in between that when you reduce your paint down a lot. Um, if you ask how many drops, I don't count how many drops I do, but I can give you kind of a ballpark figure. Um, I'd have a bottle over here and it's all settled. So all my paint is down on the bottom and my reducers up from that and it'll kind of give you an idea of how much um, I mix my paint uh, and how reduced I go. So if you look here, down here on the bottom where my pinky's at, that is my paint that's settled. And then up here where my ring finger's at, this is all my reducer all the way down. So that is a quite a bit. Um, that's just how I like it. Um, so, and basically all my colors are like that. My blacks are like that. And any other color that I use, I like to reduce it down a lot. Um, so yeah, that's just how I roll. I uh, just wanted to show you the brands of paint that I use. Um, I use Createx, and I also use Wicked. Um, and then my reducers that I use is this. And then I just kind of put it into a little squeeze bottle. All right, some of the other things I'm going to be using is a white Prismacolor pencil, um, along with a white... Uh, gel pen and then I'm going to be transferring my design with this wax free Sorol paper um, it is in white all right last but not least we are going to need a canvas um, preferably black hopefully it's black um, you never know what you're going to get when you do magic and that's what I want to show you guys uh, my special ability it's kind of secret so don't tell it um, so here we go. Bear with me. Hopefully it's not a total fail. So uh, I think you got to start off by saying Aber in the Gadaver or something like that. So we're just going to roll with it. So uh, wonton in the turtle mud button soup. Holy cannoli, Batman. It worked. I got a canvas. <laughs> We're trying to be serious, okay? Um, this video is not for fun. It's for showing you guys what to do. <laughs> uh, actually, it is about fun and showing you guys what to do. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, I got a black canvas here. Pretty much, I went ahead and jumped on the Krylon matte black. Kind of sprayed it like two or three coats. So, yeah. So, uh, hopefully, you guys stay tuned. Hopefully, you guys had a lot of fun. I know I did. Hopefully, um, you know, uh, we're making some progress. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a presentation on where I'm going with this. Yeah, count on me to come back and we will do a lot of painting here coming up. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit of a hint. Um, the picture is going to be something scary. Uh, I love scary stuff, movies and games and stuff like that. So that's going to be what the picture is going to be about. Um... But yeah, I've had a lot of fun uh, so far, so hopefully you guys are having a lot of fun also. And I just want to say, um, I know I'm kind of bonkers when it comes to, you know, this kind of stuff. So you'll kind of have to bear with me because I do get weird. Weird? Who are you calling weird? It's not my fault. I just love doing this. I, I get so excited. <sighs> Mom! Mom! I don't like to be boring on here. Um, so that's why I kind of be a little bit of energetic and stuff like that and have a, you know, a little bit of excitement because I, I like art. I love art actually. So it kind of keeps me sane. Um, even though some of my pictures are kind of insane, but, uh, you know what, what can you do? I'm just the way I am by golly. 
Um, so yeah, I'll pretty much leave it here. I'll stop talking and then uh, we will get on the next episode where we're going to be doing some painting. So hopefully you guys stick around and until then, thanks for watching. See ya.